Now at five, a former Central Florida Guardian is out of jail on bond. We were there at the Marion County Jail when Rebecca Furley walked out. She had no comment for our cameras. She was arrested last night on felony abuse of and neglect charges. Furley has been at the center of a state criminal investigation for months. And new at five, new six investigator Adrian Ivashinsky got to speak with Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody about the case against Furley and the timing of her arrest. Adriana? Yeah, both the Attorney General's office and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement have been investigating this case for almost seven months. And this afternoon, they released the arrest warrant, which details what finally led to Rebecca Furley getting booked into jail and charged with two felony counts. Do you have anything to say to the family? Rebecca Furley braced herself as reporters and photographers surrounded her and peppered her with questions. This after she was released on bond from the Marion County Jail. While she had no comment about the charges against her, the attorney general did. No comment, Ms. Furley? We're not going to sit back and let people that are put in positions of trust uh, take advantage of that position and neglect or abuse our seniors. Ashley Moody confirmed she feels confident in the state's case against Furley, who will soon have to face a judge in Hillsborough County on the aggravated abuse and neglect charges and enter her plea. The arrest centers around how she handled the guardianship of this man, Stephen Stryker, who died last May. Court records reveal Stryker was one of Furley's clients who she had placed a do not resuscitate order on despite his pleas to get that changed. Records also show she ordered his feeding tube to be capped. The arrest warrant shows state investigators interviewed the doctors and caseworkers involved in Stryker's care at the Tampa hospital where he died. It states even the staff psychiatrist questioned the need for the DNR and tried to have it rescinded, but Furley refused to do it. Investigators contend because of that DNR, no life-saving measures were taken by the hospital staff to preserve Stryker's life when he started choking in his room. And here we had a man who repeatedly said he did not want a DNR in place. It had been found that he was capable of saying that. And we had a guardian who was placed in a position of trust go against those wishes, keep a DNR in place, and it is squarely because of that decision a man choked to death. Now, I did reach out to Steven Stryker's daughter about the arrest. She tells me by text that she's waited a long time to see Furley held accountable for how she treated her father, and she just wants the laws surrounding guardians to be strengthened to prevent something like this from ever happening again. I'll have more on the status of a bill that is trying to do just that coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live in the newsroom, Adriana Ivashinsky, Getting Results, News 6. Adriana, thank you. We have covered this case for months now. You can take a look at the timeline and read more about the Guardian bill that is putting greater restrictions and regulations on guardians in this story on the homepage of clickorlando.com.